A gastronome who worked for Napoleon once wrote, Without sauce, there is no salvation. There is no cuisine. He was right. Sauces are the heart of French cuisine. Their history began a long time ago, when humans started to improve the flavor of food by adding salt, from which the word sauce arrives. After the antiquity, the Middle Ages began, adding spices to French sauces, the main example being the cameline sauce. During the Renaissance, French cuisine lacked in creativity for almost 300 years until the 17th century, the period of fundamental invention. Attributed to chef La Varenne is the roux, a mix of butter and flour, which became the standard for binding sauces. One of the queens of French cuisine can now enter the scene, bechamel. 100 years after, and it's the time of Espagnol sauce, created by chef La Chapelle and mayonnaise. Between the 18th and 19th centuries, chef Carême brought a revolution, the identification of four mother sauces, from which all others can be derived. At the turn of the 20th century, instead, the famous Bernays sauce appeared, and Chef Escoffier completed the classification of the main groups of sauces. Then, in the late 20th century, sauces entered into the Dark Ages. Nouvelle cuisine considered them too fatty, salty, and unattractive, so they simply disappeared from dishes, until Chef Yannick Alenot decided to bring them back to life. He has created an innovative process for making sauces allowing them to meet modern needs. The first step is the extraction, cooking food under a vacuum and at specific time and temperature conditions. The liquid that comes out is then reduced in order to condense and preserve its aroma. It's the second step, the cryoconcentration. The last is the blend step, when different extractions are mixed in order to create the perfect dressing for a specific dish. A new sauce has been created, tastier, healthier, this brings to light the fact that we still might improve something. After devising this method, Chef Alano met a famous winemaker who told him only fermentation can express the terroir. This sparked an idea. What if fermentation, which has always been seen as a preservation tool, can now be used as a taste enhancer? Let's combine the antique technique of fermentation with his modern extraction process. To experiment, he took three of the same vegetables from three different terroirs and placed them in a jar with salt. Then he cooked them at the precise temperature in order to begin extraction. What a surprise! Fermentation enhances energy in a product. In other words, gives life to it. Extraction restitutes the real true taste of a product, preserving its life. The combination of the two shows that a terroir is not only a territory, but as with wine, also a taste. Now, in the 21st century, it is the gastronomization of the terroir.